Um, I don't think there's anybody that's watched the games that would disagree with that, whatever you thought of Moyes. The ball bouncing awkwardly. Sam Sanders heads it back, and I think it'll run wide of the goalkeeper, Ethan Ross, and behind. Well pressed by Tommy Willard. Harfield then left-footed and out swinger. Plenty of big bodies in the box. And the corner! Tyler Cordner gets up! And Tyler Cordner heads it in. And the crowd now cheer in almost disbelief because as the header went down, I think even the goalkeeper thought it might be going wide, but it just nestled inside his right hand. Back in, half cleared, Paniati should get there next, and does. Is he infringed? Maybe not, but he hangs on to the ball and works it out to the right-hand side. Glover with the ball through the middle. Oh, looking for Effiong, and he can't quite make it, but Willard gets there. Secondary run from Paniatu into the air. He's holding it up inside the penalty area now. He's looking for a little ball. No, he can't get it. Tries to pull it back. And there's Effiong, he's so unlucky. Turns it towards goal, but it clips Kuogan and flies high up and over the bar. Ten position, if you like. Here's Partington, clipping the ball over the top. Uh, bounces down, effing has got it. Can he play it inside to Paniatu? He can. Can Paniatu get the shot away? Oh, he can. It's come out to Glover. Glover passes and he might have shot. It's drilled across the goal and it's cleared. Just like Willard at the other end. And then Vincent clears the ball and is uh, caught heavily by Hurst. Off, off, off is the shout from the Aldershot faithful in the North Bank. And he's been given. A straight red, has he? Defended well since they've been 1 0 up, and they've shown glimpses in attack as they do here. Effiong chesting the ball down to Paniatu, out to the left hand side to Harfield, and it comes. Ooh, Effiong jumping with the number four, Kuogan, who did well. And side with Harfield. We're in the 44th minute, shots 1 York nil. York down to 10 men. Alex Hurst with a straight red. Cordner giving shots the lead in the sixth minute. Here's Frank Vincent uh, showing good intensity going forward. Now he plays the ball to Partington. What a difference he's making there. Into Paniatu. Yep, Paniatu to Effiong. Back to Partington. Playing the ball around the edge of the final third. Now to Cordner. Cordner to Vincent. Working it side to side. One way to Vincent inside to Paniatu. Tries the ball through the middle. Really good idea. Really good idea. Looking for Vincent, but there was a body in the way. Willard to chase, he chases onto the header that comes uh, from the number 12 Whittle, now Glover's got it, he's uh, running to the byline, can he get across it? He does, uh, headed away, only as far as Vincent, takes it on his chest, now it's played forward, I think York can probably let that one drift into touch, don't need to, half-time whistle is blown, at half-time, and we're underway for the second half, uh, no changes yet, but it's pretty evident uh, from the body language of Terry Brown to Kenny Davis, who is warming up at half-time, that he will be coming on in the not-too-distant future. Uh, no doubt for the skipper, Joe Partington, who uh, has been out for two months. He's been a good, solid presence in the heart of midfield this afternoon, just getting it, giving it. Oh, he's caught really heavily there by Mafuta. Only Phillips at the back, cross comes in. Oh, Cordner's up there. Gets his header on it, but he's a little bit under it and can only head it wide. Well, I said we've got an extra couple of hundred here in the ground today. Well, we have 286 Yorktown fans, but the best part of 1,500 shots fans is well. 1,866, here's Willard, beats one, tries to play a 1-2 and only can pick out a York player. Out there on the right-hand side now, threads the ball through, Pybus, good build-up from York. And uh, Kuyar's got it down by the byline. Cross cuts across, beats his man, squares it, and it's cleared off the line. But it's in. It's a scruffy goal, but York are back in it. They've got themselves level, and it's Lanell Lon John Lewis that's claiming the goal. Leffing up there doesn't. Plays it back across. Glover, first touch to Harfield, who's still out there. Now to Glover, crosses it low. Oh, blazed over the bar by Giles Phillips from seven yards. The afterburners to get there. Now he tries a cross. That deflects into the path of Amaluza in the penalty. It was a smart turn from him. Can he get shot away? He can. Oh, he's put it wide. He shot it with a bit of intensity. EBB, free kick down by the corner flag to the shots. Harfield's going to take it. Left footed. In it comes. Bounces awkwardly. Turn, shot, half cleared, and then cleared. 
bit of a scramble there. Very good in the last 10, 15 minutes with 10 men. He got back into it. Here's Glover trying to ball forward. This time it does escape the man. Willard picks it up on the right hand edge of the penalty area. Comes back on his left foot. Can he shoot? Finish. Yes, he can. Tommy Willard on his weaker left foot beats Ethan Ross and the shots have the lead. will move out of the bottom four, but it's all lifts and butts. Flick on from Effiong. Amaluza might get there inside the penalty area. He does. Oh, the York player couldn't get good contact on it. Amaluza got a second chance. 2-1 shots. Corner coming in here from Ollie Harfield. Corner's going to have a swing. And he swings and hits it wide. He got a clear sighting of it. And he got away from his man as well. He's gone, Davis. Get the ball up the pitch. Get it up the other end. Skips inside his man. Now he burns off forward. He's got Harfield clear away here on the left if he can find him. Clips the ball into Effion. Can he try it first time? He's offside. And he pokes it wide. I think that the decision of Davies was to try the pass. There's the final whistle. All the shot town have won their third home game of the season. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.